Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Death Must Die. Now if you're new to the channel or you're coming back on a regular basis, I just want to say this now. Uh, these gameplay vi videos are, they're pretty slow paced so, you know, if you're looking for a video that's going to be 10 minutes long, probably not the video that you're, that you're wanting to watch. My uh, returning viewers probably already know that, but... You know, just anyone who wants to watch this, you know, you can put this on in the background or do whatever, you know. Just just enjoy your time here and enjoy watching me play this game that I, uh... I wouldn't say I suck at it, but <laughs> I, I, I do struggle at times. <laughs> I do my best to be as entertaining as possible. Probably don't do the greatest job of it. But, you know, I, I do. I do my best. I do my best. <laughs> um, let's, you know, let's go for this guy. Let's increase his attack area. I don't think I really have much for this guy, though. That's the only problem. Um, uh, you know what? So, we probably want to go for, like, Maris or someone like that. Because so I have more stuff for, like, Maris. I have more stuff with Maris. Um, you know, let's go for the spy, uh, the projectiles again. Go for that. See if we can get something good. See if we can get something good. Um, lose out on sp some spell duration, which wouldn't wouldn't be great. Um, you know what? I think I pretty much have everything I already want, so. We'll go back in here with Maris, and we'll see how things go. Hopefully we can get something a little bit stronger this time, and, you know, get a good good build going. After his throne? No. Though if he could just take a short break and listen for once, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, that's become stronger. You know what, we'll, we'll drain some, uh, some of these enemies, why not? I always, I always love this thing. It just drains the enemies from a distance. Once you carry the blessings of Mort. She's lovely, isn't she? Not like her father. Yeah, fair enough. Really betrayal, frostbone. Yeah, we'll get the frost zones. Um. Yeah. See, look at that. I, I love that. I actually, I really do love that. Because. May your quest be blessed by the righteous. If I could get anything that would, like, improve my... Um, you know, I'll go for, like, regenerate life. But if I could get something that would, like, improve upon my, like, dashes and my spells and things like that, then I'll be in a pretty good position, I think. I think that would actually make for a very, very strong build. Uh, spawn phantoms. Ooh, enemies kill. Is the current life. I'm gonna go for. I'm just gonna go for that. See if we can get something good. There's nothing from that. I never get anything from that. It's actually. It's really annoying. Because I really never get anything from that. In the face of injustice, true heroes are revealed. For being one, I extend my gratitude. Thank you, Lady Justice. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll just go with that. We'll get a buff for that. Okay, more in uh, more attack damage. I'll take it. Yeah, I just have to make sure that I'm grabbing all the experience, because the problem is, yeah, the experience are really far away from me. I'll go with that. Try to get, uh, like, ex more expert offers, I think. Kind of save off, save off uh, on from getting, like, the novice stuff. Just focus on, um, just focus on, like, the, uh, the expert upgrades, I guess. Sorry, Dad. It's okay, Mort. I know she's not talking to me, but I'm just letting her know that it's okay. 
Their dad is literally death. I mean, what can you do? I'm talking about her like she's a real person. But yeah, look at that drain. It's actually insane. Uh, mobilize enemies. Uh, we'll go with that. Why not? Uh, ooh. Attack speed. Yay. More pro more spell projectiles. Nice. What is this thing? Uh, attack damage. Slower spell cooldowns. And slow. 7% more heals. Yeah, I'll go with that. That's the only thing that isn't, like, damaging to me. That's pretty cool that it, like, sticks around on him. I'm assuming because, like, all the other guys end up dying. And then, obviously, he has a lot more health. So the life drain can kind of stick around for longer. You know how some say death is only the beginning? On a long enough timeline, it's true. I only wish my father would see it so. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we'll go with this. We'll get that uh, to be an adept thing. But yeah, I mean, my the gameplay, I hope people are realizing it now. I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not an expert or anything like that. I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, I'm not gonna have the the best gameplay ever. There's definitely gonna be plenty of content creators that have better videos than I make. But you know, I just I want people to have a good time. I hope everyone justice is impartial. I hope everyone who watches my videos, I hope they have to have a good time. If you're not having a good time, then please let me know in the comment section why you're not having a good time. Good time. I would love to know what I could do better. What is something that I would love to hear any advice, any advi any advice at all? Love to hear it in the comment section. Uh -huh. It's an interesting seeing time so perplexed. They'd never interacted with mortals before. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna banish that and I'll grab that. I mean, I would love a time upgrade. Probably not gonna get one, but it would be nice to have. Uh, whenever you hit enemies, heal one. Unlevel up. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess I could actually go with that. Because the experience per second thing is not that big of a deal. I already have something that's giving me experience per second. I feel like, yeah, I feel like 50% spell area is way, way stronger. His heart is colder than mine, and I'm winter itself. That is true. That is true. Kill, there's a higher chance that drops an item. We'll go with that. I'm not really ever fa like fighting things that like are frozen, but I wonder. So it is considered a spell. So spell damage, spell duration probably affects it. I assume so. Which is pretty pretty cool, I would say. Uh, spawn ravens. We'll go with that. Go for more necromancy. I wonder if I can go this whole run without taking any damage. I mean, I have so many skeletons that it's actually getting pretty crazy. Generate life damages you. I'm just gonna banish that one. It generates some more life per second. Uh, 
Yeah, it definitely it definitely is affected by it, I feel I'm pretty sure. Like I'm pretty confident that the uh, the drain thing is affected by like spell projectiles. So like anything that increases the amount of spell projectiles you have, I'm I'm fairly confident. Winter acts on spite, but there might be a flicker of flame behind all this ice. Yeah, it's called her sister Summer. That's that's the flame. Uh, and it starts attacking you. Yeah, I'll go with that. The smited thing is actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um. Ooh, I finally got something from that. Um, I don't remember what exactly I was talking about. I think I was talking about the life drain thing. Um, but yeah, the spell projectiles definitely does seem like it affects it. Like anything that gives that adds, you know, adds projectiles uh, to your spells. I I definitely ooh more spell area. Give me that. Spell duration and spell damage would be nice, mainly for the drain link. <laughs> Obviously, the spell area is going to be, like, really good for, like, everything else. Um. Uh, regenerate life. We'll go with that. Yeah, those skeletons are going crazy. Mainly because stuff can't even, like, get near me. Just sitting in urns for an eternity. And he doesn't get it. He just doesn't get life and death, you know? I mean, to be fair, we also kind of keep people in side of urns. I mean, is that. Should I not. Should I not bring that up? I don't. I mean, well, that's after people die. I mean, I don't know if he's keeping them in urns while they're still alive. That would be. I mean, I'd be impressed on how he's getting them into the urns if they're still alive, but I, I'm just, you know, I'm I'm just bringing it up that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Because normally it only drains, like, what is it, like, four enemies or something? Well, like, the base one is three, then I have it upgraded to, like, four. So now this is... But this is hitting, like, seven? Six or seven? Something like that? Something crazy like that? Sure is chilly down here, though, isn't it? It's quite lovely, really. So why would it be... So you... Okay. So you like it being chilly, but you're saying that it's chilly. So does that mean that you're also cold? Or... Because personally, if I wouldn't... Like, let's say, like, I'm... I'm... I like the cold, right? And the cold... If the cold, like, doesn't bother me at all. Like, I'm not affected by it at all. Wouldn't I be like, oh, it's quite warm out here, like, or... Am I wrong in thinking that? Maybe I shouldn't be talking while I'm playing, because I feel like I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. Take more damage. Yeah, we'll go for more frost zones. Because I'm attempting to go for a build where I take no damage. So far, I don't think I've taken any damage. Not even at the start. From the very beginning, I don't think I took any damage.
Now I have no idea how long this is this whole thing is gonna last for. I mean I'm gaining a lot of max HP. I for a build where I'm trying not to take any damage, it doesn't really matter how much HP I have. I'm also kind of trying to go without like actually ever attacking. Like, obviously, I'm attacking once in a while to break the urns, but other than that, I'm trying not to attack too much. And trying to solely rely on spells. Um. The daughter bears no guilt for the sins of her father. Taking Mort's gifts was wise, hero. Thank you, Lady Justice. Don't really care what you have to say, but thank you, I guess. Three dashes. See, yeah, like an extra dash for this sort of stuff would actually be really nice. And I can just keep increasing the amount of damage my, my drain thing does, my life drain. More heals. Now, if I could, like, consistently have this, that would be really nice, but... Um, yeah, let me, let me go for that. Ooh, what is this gonna give me? Just more heals? Okay. Just what I need, something that gives me healing. Oh, more healing? Just what I needed. Thank you, game. How did you know that's what I wanted? More spell damage? No, that's not what I want. I want more healing. You are deemed virtuous? What does that mean? Do I get something? Uh, 6% luck? Is that what I gain? I mean, I guess I'll take it, but... Spell area is increased. We'll take that. Oh, yeah. Against... Against these guys, it's gonna be a little rough. Hoping the skeletons can kind of be enough. And the smite thing is going to be nice as well. Okay. My gosh. Bro, these freaking guys are never ending. Give me a break, please. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait. What did I get? What did I get? I don't know what I got. What did I choose? 20% more heals? Of course I chose that. I was trying to spam the space bar and instead I accidentally chose that thing. 
and it gave me something that's completely useless to me. Of course, why, why wouldn't it give me something completely useless? Why would I ever want anything that I could use? Oh my gosh. How did I survive that without taking any damage? I'm actually like... Oh, yes, give me this. I can't, I can't wait to add to what, what is it? Like 20%, 50%, freaking 57, 57% 57 more heals on a build where I'm trying not to take any damage. And I took damage. You know what? Screw the game. I don't care anymore. Everyone gets... Everyone gets, uh, one. Right? Everyone gets two. Everyone gets three. That's, that's how the saying goes. Everyone gets three. Armor's increased. You yeah, sure? <sighs> I hate this. Come stun, spell duration. Go for more spell damage. Is this pickups? Yeah, that's pickups. Eh, that just gives me that. That gives me, like, regeneration or something like that. It honestly isn't too bad, but that gives me more luck. So, let's just, uh, hope that things go well. Uh, damages you, no. We'll go with that one. You feel unimpeded. Oh, thanks. Thank you, game. The, because the biggest issue that I was having was that I was being impeded. I really felt, I really felt impeded throughout this whole run. So thank you so much, game, for making me feel unimpeded. I, what, what would I ever do without you, game? You have been so, you have provided me so much, so many useful upgrades that, you know, I, this run would be nothing without you, game. Oh. Now I'm getting hit by enemies. Really tough enemies. Enemies that have a massive attack area. It is not for death to decide when to take a life. For breaking his duty towards the living, he must face retribution. Isn't that kind of... His name is Death, and you're telling him that he's not allowed to decide when to... That kind of seems like it goes against his whole entire- his- his name is Death. I mean, I understand if you're upset with him for, like, things he's done or whatever in the past. For, like, you know, making things unstable within the- whatever this universe or whatever the case may be, but his name is literally Death. I- I- you, and you're mad at him for taking lives away? I don't... That... His... I mean... Like, you wouldn't... Someone named... Like... Rob... Rob Banks. Like, you wouldn't hire him to be a clerk at a bank, right? Like, you... 
unless you're a, a manager that's like, haha, this would be hilarious to have this guy working at our at our bank and his name is Rob Banks. You know? So and if he robs your bank, you you can't like be there like, oh how could how could this happen? Like how what like were there signs we could have watched out for? It's like, well, his name is Rob Banks. I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, I feel like there was a warning sign beforehand that this guy was gonna be taking people's lives away. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep upgrading that. At this point, I'm I'm trying to go for a build where I'm trying not to take damage, but I'm getting to a point where I'm just taking so much damage that I just don't even care. Like, I'm still gonna go for it. I'm still gonna see if I can get to a point where, like, I, I quite literally just don't have to worry about taking damage as long as I am skilled enough, but in terms of the challenge of, oh yeah, hey, let's, let's see if I don't take any damage, haha, -ha, fun challenge, like, challenge kind of over at this point, you know? I mean, this is a good build, though. It is a very strong build. I'm not sure how it's going to do against Dracula. Might not do great, but... I feel like it has a, has a chance of doing well against him. Oh my gosh, okay. Um... Come on, Mr. Dracula, you... You can do better than this, right? You're getting demolished right now. I don't even need to attack you. I'm just shooting just to be just to do it. Just for the fun of it. I am just draining your life with my dash and that is all I need. <laughs> Can't touch this na 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 na. That Get wrecked, Dracula. You got demolished. Get better. Get better. Get wrecked, Dracula. You got demolished. Um... Uh... Oh, there's revivals? That's cool. Uh, 
Eh, uh, there's not really anything here that I want. I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah, nothing here is really something I want. I mean, maybe this amulet? But I would lose out on life regeneration, and I don't know if I want to lose out on... I don't know. Do I want to lose out on a life regeneration? Because, like, in return, I do gain some spell damage. So that could be helpful. And I did finally... I don't know if that... I don't know how many times I defeated... The... Uh, defeated, um... The Baron. With, uh... With Maris. I don't think I've ever beaten, uh, beaten them, but I could be wrong. Dang, that's a lot of armor. Honestly, armor on things doesn't really matter that much. What if I get something that's like, how much, like, um, I wonder if I, like, put everything together that just provides a ton of evasion. This would go on Assassin. So yeah, if I just go for something that's like ton, a ton and ton and ton of evasion. So like, for example, Maris has like, what, 14 evasion. So you get 19 or 9.5%. And if I equip something like this, right, it goes up to 21.3%. Compared to, so like, the Assassin, or if I equip this, I guess to 94, so 41.3, can you, me mean, like, any more evasion, does not get any more Range of skills, literally, linearly, meaning that gaining more evasion does not give you more or less effective life per point. So, like, so yeah, so if I could go for something that would just give me a ton of evasion could i just have like 100 percent evade chance is that something that i can do same goes for armor can i go for can i get something that's going to give me like a hundred percent damage reduction i don't know that is something that that has me curious very very curious I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Because I have a lot of things that, like, give me a ton of armor. Like, 28, 25, and it all adds up to 127. So, maybe that's something I'll, that's something I'll have to check out at some point. To kind of see, like, hey, does this do this or whatever, you know? Um... I'll hold on to, like, some of these things. This thing here, I guess, could be good. Plus four strength and plus four stamina. I still don't understand what this does. Like, what, what does that add to? There's not a single stat that is increased by plus four stamina and plus four strength. The only thing that happens, oh wait. Oh no, my attack damage gets changed and my spell damage gets changed. By four. By 4%. This is worthless. Yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of that then. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, 
See, I could put this on like the. Uh, or, no, I already have it on that. Okay. Um. That. And I'll I'll put some things back that I might want to keep. And nothing. Uh. Well, I'll keep that. Yeah. Actually, I I do probably want to actually keep this instead because that just gives me the evasion and expert offers. But yeah, everything else here I'm just gonna get rid of. Don't really need any of those things. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video of Death Must Die. If you guys enjoyed it, then please leave a like on it, and subscribe to the channel. I mean the world to me it doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, my name is Sam. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.